Hello, I'm Doc Sterling from Rejuven MD, and I'd like to talk to you about something serious, urinary stress incontinence. So, urinary stress incontinence is any loss of urine that affects your hygiene or lifestyle, such as sexual activity, exercise, or work. Urinary stress incontinence is more common than you think. Approximately one in five women in their 20s will have it, and more than 50% in their 50s. So it is something that affects many people that you may know or yourself. Women with urinary stress and incontinence may have a perceived lack of health. They feel like they're just not as healthy as they should be. This leads to stress, sexual function. It can affect your work and can cause shame. There are lifestyle modifications that can help out with the urinary stress and incontinence. Behavioral modifications like doing Kegel exercises, decreasing fluid, consumption, especially during the evening. Other lifestyle changes like quitting smoking, losing weight, or treating a chronic cough that can exacerbate and make stress incontinence worse. Bladder training such as scheduled toileting can be effective as well. There are some trigger foods for some people like caffeine, tea, and unfortunately in some women, chocolate. You can also stock up on supplies having extra clothes handy, extra pads, and cleaning supplies. Many women with urinary stress incontinence will scout out their environment. They'll know where the restrooms are and maybe a place to change if needed. It's also important to take care of your skin. Having skin in contact with dampness chronically can lead to skin breakdown and possible infections. Regarding sexual activity, talk to your partner Make sure you communicate what kind of issues you have. Make sure your bladder is empty before starting sexual activities. If a certain position leads to worsening incontinence, be creative, try a different position. Having towels and maybe a disposable pad can be effective as well. There are no FDA approved medications for urinary stress incontinence. Duloxetine, the generic of Cymbalta, has been used in Europe and can show some promise. The major side effect that causes people to stop that medication, however, is nausea. Anticholinergic medications really used for urge incontinence, but can be used for ur urinary stress incontinence. They have drying effects, can cause constipation, which can make incontinence worse. And there's good evidence coming out that long-term use of these medications may increase risk of dementia. There are devices that can be used for urinary stress incontinence. Pessaries can be placed. They're either placed in the office or you can have ones that you place yourself. It's a removable device that goes into your vagina and supports the walls that are affected. Urethral inserts are really used only in special circumstances like running, heavy lifting, or playing tennis. There are surgical procedures for urinary stress incontinence. The most common procedure is a mid-urethral sling. This procedure uses either your own tissue or an artificial mesh to help support the urethra and decrease urinary stress incontinence. Side effects can include pain, mesh extrusion, urinary tract infections, urinary retention. It can also cause decrease in sexual function. Injection of artificial bulking agents have been used, but there is a better option regarding injections. In 2011, Dr. Charles Reynolds performed the very first vaginal injection of platelet-rich plasma. Dr. Reynolds intended the procedure to improve sexual function, but he noticed that there was a significant side effect of curing urinary stress incontinence. Dr. Reynolds has shared this procedure with others in the form of the O-Shot. In both published studies and discussions with Dr. Reynolds and his colleagues, there's about an 80% resolution in urinary stress incontinence symptoms. And the beautiful part about PRP is that in thousands of published studies, there's not been a major documented complication due to the PRP. I've been to a number of courses claiming to teach the O-Shot, but I haven't had the success that I really desired or that Dr. Runnels claimed. 
This led me to fly to Fairhope, Alabama to train with Dr. Runnels. In this training, I quickly learned why I was not having the results that I desired. And this is why it is very important to find a provider that's been trained by Dr. Runnels in the O-Shot technique. After the O-Shot, many women get immediate relief of their symptoms. But more likely, you would start seeing the benefits in about three weeks with the maximum benefits in three months. There are some women that need to have a second procedure performed. So what exactly is PRP? PRP, simply put, is platelet-rich plasma. That is plasma with a higher concentration of platelets than what's in your body. To do this, we use FDA clear technology to collect your platelets and resuspend them in a smaller volume of fluid. Platelets are the first line of defense against any injury or damage. They're full of growth factors that help regenerate and rejuvenate tissue. By injecting and activating the platelets, we start a cascade of inflammation, proliferation, and remodeling. All this leads to healthier, more vibrant tissue in the areas that had been injected. This all sounds great, but what are the potential side effects? Anytime we inject an area, there's a risk of bleeding, so you might have to wear a pad for about 24 hours or so. You can have greater arousal from clitoral stimulation. And you may notice younger, smoother skin of the vulva and possibly a tighter vaginal opening. You may notice stronger, more frequent orgasms. You may have increased ability to have a vaginal orgasm. You can have decreased pain with sexual activity. And all of this may lead to increased sexual desire. I truly hate when women feel trapped by urinary stress incontinence. And I'm excited to have a treatment that is so simple and effective. So please review the information on our website as well as oshot.com. Then call Rejune MD at 262-373-0169 to schedule your assessment and procedure. I'm Dr. Donald Strong and I look forward to meeting you and helping you through this serious issue. Thank you for your time.